What are some of the biggest blind spots you've uncovered in your POCs or partnerships? Uh, so there are a few different lenses to look at this from. The first lens would be, uh, and I'll frame it in questions, and I'm not sure how much you talked about ransomware. I, I flew in, so I missed some of this. But the first question a business might ask or just say is, hey, tell me if I ever have anything turned off that could stop ransomware. Think of that question. Uh, think of how you would annotate data to give an LM or agents the ability to go figure this out. And the truth is, with some amount of expertise, domain-specific knowledge pumped into large language models, you can figure this out. That's the first thing. They find out that somebody had did a, uh, an, a, a, an exception for a new software they're rolling out, and they accidentally just went ahead and turned off a bunch of modules and enabled anything to run on the C drive, which would be like the worst case scenario. We've seen that. Uh, and at a very, very big financial institution. Uh, and so you have those questions that need to be answered. The other type of question that's actually much more challenging and why you need, I, the prior uh, person speaking was talking almost about domain-specific models, domain-specific expertise, is when you answer the question of how should I deploy my security infrastructure to stop ransomware? Now, that's an incredibly complex question. You, you quite honestly have trillions of options here between all the tools you have available to you. And so what we see at that level of questioning is architects or security engineers believing that something was deployed per their guidance and then finding out that it wasn't. Um, ransomware modules turned off on a particular product area. Um, the ransomware modules turned on, but it isn't applied to the network policy on a, on a SASE product or work from home internet solution. So these things happen, and when they happen at scale across hundreds of thousands of users or a very complex almost Rome-esque, built-on-top-each-other organization, um, they've become really hard to answer and spot proactively. 